How's it going, everyone? So the Packers continue to make coaching changes amongst that defensive staff, and there's actually been quite a few moves that have happened over the last 24 hours. So to start off, we have lost a few more coordinators from the defensive coaching side. So we've lost pass game coordinator Greg Williams and also linebackers. Well, he was the inside linebackers coach, Kirk Olividati. Now, Olividati, he went over to the Seattle Seahawks and became their linebackers coach. We could have blocked it considering it was a lateral move, but the Packers have decided to let him walk. So apparently they just didn't really want him to come back. So it has left those positions vacant. But in return, the Packers have hired a couple of assistant coaches to help fill out this defensive coaching staff. So the first one is Vince Ogabasi, who was the defensive line coach for Jeff Halfley over at Boston College and also did coach alongside him with the San Francisco 49ers in 2016 and 2017. But his mainstay was over in Boston College, where he coached for four years as a defensive line coach, and he had a bit of accolades. So on their college team website, Ogabasi helped BC ranked third nationally in passing yards, which was 173.5 yards per game during the 2021 season. And the Eagles were also top 30 nationally in six other defensive categories, total defense, red zone defense, first downs allowed, third down percentage, team passing efficiency, and defensive touchdowns. And BC ranked fifth in the ACC a year later in passing yards, allowing 211.2 yards per game and improved from 1.67 sacks per game to 2.25. In 2022, he helped defensive end Donovan Izaraku, who was named an all-ACC second team pick with 8.5 sacks and 14.5 tackles for loss, both both the most by an Eagle since 2018, and defensive tackle Chibazi Unawuka, I'm going to butcher these names, also earned all ACC honorable mention. And adding on to that, Ogabasi mentored Marcus Valdez into an all ACC honorable mention defensive end in 2021, where Valdez ranked eighth in the ACC with 0.56 sacks per game and was a leader amongst the defensive fronts. So he had a lot of good success at Boston College, but it wasn't just there. Before Boston College, he did also coach at UCLA amongst their defensive front. And in year two at UCLA, the Bruin defensive front helped cut almost 0.5 yards per carry off of the opponent rushing average per carry from the previous season and held four teams under 100 rushing yards in a game. And the defense upped its quarterback sack total from 11 to 26 over a year's time. So it seems like, hey, he's done very good, at least in the collegiate level, with the defensive end getting pressure, getting sacks, and also mitigating the run game a little bit. And it will be a very welcomed addition to a Packers defense if he can have the type of success he had in college into the NFL level, because I would love to have a run defense to hold opponents consistently or decently consistently, considering our run game has been atrocious on the defensive side. Now, initially, it was reported that he would be our defensive line coach, and that's actually not entirely the case. He will be the assistant defensive line coach under Jason Rubervich, who is actually the defensive line coach. Now, it is a little bit expected that maybe Ogabasi will work on the interior line, considering that's more of what he's kind of used to with the defensive line. And then Jason Rebovich will worry about the outside of the defensive line, considering they're more dealing with pass rushing. And that's kind of what Rebovich was good for, was a pass rush specialist. But that remains to be seen. Next, moving on to the next coach that we are expected to sign, and this is coming from Tom Silverstein. Uh, and he tweeted, pretty big coup for the Packers, Coach Matt LaFleur and DC Jeff Halfley. They are expected to hire former Dolphins linebacker coach Anthony Campanile, a source said. The Giants had interviewed him for their D.C. job and the Eagles wanted him as a linebackers coach to source set. So with the expectation that he is signed, it is also expected that he's going to help transition this defense from a 3-4 to a 4-3, which kind of is starting to become more official that we will be running a 4-3 defense this year. And he will be coaching an, all the off the ball linebackers. And he will also serve as our run game coordinator, which is pretty good for the Packers as well. It looks like we're getting a lot of good run game coordinators or assistant coaches on this defensive staff that is pretty much we've struggled immensely for a long time in stopping the ball in the run game. 
Now, this assistant coach actually might be a little bit familiar to you if you watched Hard Knocks of the Miami Dolphins, because he did actually have a segment there where he gave a legendary speech or a speech that a lot of people liked during the show's time. So a lot of people may know him from there. Now, more about him, they have that in the 2023 season as his fourth year as a Miami Miami Dolphins linebackers coach. The Dolphins finished 6th with 3.81 yards allowed per carry, while we were 23rd in the league with 4.42 yards allowed per carry. And then from the time frame of 2020 through 2023, the Dolphins were ranked 10th with 4.21 yards allowed per carry, while we were ranked 31st with 4.66 yards allowed per carry. And last year, he actually did a really good job, I think, with that linebacker crew because they started off very well and then they started dropping like flies and I think he pretty much did the best he could. Unfortunately, the Dolphins defense and the team and the linebackers just kept dropping like flies. So this is looking like another great addition amongst this defensive assistant coaching staff where we've kind of almost completely flipped. And there's an obvious focus here. We're transitioning to a 4-3 it looks like. And it looks like we are focusing on the run game, which has definitely just kind of been tossed aside in a while. And if you're curious, he does have some slight ties to Jeff Halfley, where they did coach together with the San Francisco 49ers, where he was the co-defensive coordinator in 2018 when Halfley was with the 49ers. So there is that tie there. But let me know what you think down in the comments. If you liked the video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. And as always, go back, go.